The reading strategy Trying Lion is about trying to see if the word you predict your unknown word to be makes sense in the sentence. Often we can look at the first sound and children don't look all the way through a word and predict the end of a word. When you put it in the sentence, you can check if it makes sense and if it doesn't make sense, that means you haven't quite got the word correct. Let's give it a go. We have a new pet. Mm. Let's see what words would make sense. K, A, T, Cat, or K, A, P, Cat. We have a new pet cat. Does that make sense? Yes, I think that's the one. I wouldn't want a pet cat. Let's try another one. Don't something the glass cup both of these words start with d r dr and they both end with p let's see which one might make more sense don't drop the glass cup or don't drip the glass cup which one makes sense I agree. Drop, drop. Sometimes your children might see a digraph in the word they're predicting and assume it's a word that they associate with that digraph. Here, the two words we're attempting both have the digraph th. I need to give my puppy a that or bath. What one makes sense? Check the first sound and reread the sentence using both words. I need to give my puppy a bath or I need to give my puppy a that. I know you know which one makes sense. At this stage, I'd just like to do a quick reminder that when your child is reading a book and using Triangle Lion, there will only be one word, not the two options. The options here are just to show you ideas that might be going through your child's head. So for example here, they might see the letter B and maybe the picture had a bald boy on it, who knows, but they might say, can you throw me the bald? And think it's correct because they're using the first sound. So you could ask them, oh, Throw me the bald. Does that make sense? What could make sense instead of bald? And then they might say bald. You go, oh, well done. You check that sentence to check that it made sense. Can you throw me the bald? That makes a lot more sense. Now it's your turn to try some by yourself. Read the sentence and then choose the word at the bottom which would make the sentence make sense. If you say the word and the sentence sounds a bit silly, you've probably chosen the wrong word. Look all the way through the word to help you decode it. Enjoy using Try and Lion.